Hi everybody, welcome to Humble Hus. I know you're going to love this colorful scarf for the warmer months of the year, but even in the winter, it doesn't hurt to add some color. Let me show you what you're going to need for this scarf. For this project, I am using three different colors of the same yarn, and I will put this in the description if you want to use the same yarn. My hook, which is a four millimeter hook or a size G. A yarn needle. A measuring tape. Scissors. And optional are stitch markers or paper clips you can use if you don't have stitch markers. But like I said, these are optional. You don't have to use them. Okay, so let's start by making a slip knot. Form a loop with your yarn, then insert your hook. Pull that loose end kind of into that loop, hold on to these two sides, and then pull in opposite directions. Obviously tighten this around your hook, like so, not too tight, not too loose. And now we start our chains, so this will be our foundation row. You need to work in multiples of 15, so 15, 30, 45, and so on, until you reach the length that you want for your scarf. Now, if you're using this stitch for something else, then basically just do the multiples of 15 for whatever you're doing this. Now, yarn over, pull through, that's one chain. Yarn over, pull through, two chains, three, four, five, and so on. Uh, like I mentioned, make it as long as you want. If you have the person's head circumference, then that makes it easier. Then you know how long you need to make this. And also it depends on how um, loose you want this scarf to be around your neck. Like, do you want it hanging a little bit longer? Do you want an infinity scarf? So it's completely up to you on how long you're going to make your foundation row. Like I said, just keep in mind those multiples of 15. Now, once you have reached the number of chains that you want, so the length that you want, uh, in my case, this is for demonstration purposes only. Of course, the scarf wouldn't be this short. <laughs> so I have 30 chains here. And to whatever number you have, whether you have, you know, 45 chains, uh, 60, 75, to that number, you are going to add eight more chains. So go ahead and do that. That gives me a total of 38 chains right now. Go ahead and then from your hook, count one, two, three, four chains. And on the fifth one, you will work a double crochet stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. We need a total of four double crochets right here. So one, two, and then do two more. Chain three, one, two, three, skip two chains, one and two, and then on that third one, work a single crochet stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Chain three again, one, two, three. Skip two chains again, one and two. And then on that next one, we will work three double crochets into that stitch. Chain 
skip four chains one two three four and on that fifth one work three double crochets again into that one stitch Into each of the next four chains, you will work one double crochet each. And now we repeat this pattern. So chain three, skip two chains, then a single crochet, chain three, skip two chains, then three double crochets into that same stitch, and yes it does sort of pull on those chains but that's okay, then skip four chains one two three four and then three double crochets again and then into the next four chains we do four double crochets in one into each okay so you're going to repeat that until the end of your so here i am already at the end of my row so go ahead and do that just repeat that pattern that i just showed you Now all of this is still considered part of the foundation row. We will chain three. So once you're done, chain three, turn your work, and this is where we start row number one. So you have this stitch right here with the three chains into the next stitch. So in here, through those two loops, that is where we will work our first double crochet. So we need four double crochet stitches in total right here, one into each. Just like that, you have this space right here. So you want, you have these two stitches and then you have the space. So you want to chain three and you will work a single crochet into this space. Now chain three again, and you have the three double crochet stitches here from the previous row. You skip the first two, and then into that third one, you want to make three double crochet stitches. Like that, that's what yours should look like. You're going to skip all of this until you reach this first double crochet over on this side. You want to make three double crochet stitches into that one. So just like that. Now into the next four stitches, you will do one double crochet each. Now you're back with this pattern where you have the two double crochet stitches. So you chain three again, single crochet into the space, chain three again, skip the first two double crochets, and then you do your three double crochets into this third stitch. Skip all of this, do three double crochets into this first stitch over here, and then you should have four stitches left where you will do your four double crochet stitches. 
So go ahead and do that. So one, two, three, and then you have your chain from the previous row. So you can do your last double crochet stitch either on this top chain or like me, I work it into the space. And there you have the ending of row one. Now I will show you how to switch colors. Now you do not have to switch colors if you don't want to. And also if you are switching colors, you do not have to cut off this yarn, okay? Because you will just pull it up whenever you need it. So take the new color, form a little loop around your hook, and I'll pull it through that loop that was on your hook tighten that so like pull on it and now so holding on to everything now you will chain three and turn your work now if you didn't change colors that you all you would do is chain three and turn your work okay into so this is that first stitch and then right here into that second one you will work a double crochet stitch and we need a total of four, so into one into each. Wait, okay, this is row two. Now we begin that pattern again of chain three. Work a single crochet into the space. Right, you skip those two double crochets. Now chain three again. Skip the first two double crochets and into the third one, you will do three double crochet stitches. And so basically now you are repeating that same pattern. Now all you would do is repeat these two rows, so rows one and two. So row number three will be the same as row number one, row number four would be the same as row number two. So just to show you, you chain three, turn your work, and then you start with your four double crochets here into this third row, chain three, one single crochet. Just that same pattern. And I just wanna show you at the end of this row how you would pull up the yarn if you were using the yellow again or any other color. As you, as you saw in the photos, um, I used three different colors. So either you switch to a new color or you pull up one of the old colors. All right, here I am. So if I was to use the yellow again and I'm here at the end of my row, I will simply pull this up, not too tight because you don't want this to, you know, bunch up. <laughs> so you just yarn over and make a loop, tighten that, and then chain three. So you do not need to worry about this because we will work over this at the end. Now go ahead and do as many rows as you like with as many colors as you like, and I will meet you once you have reached the width that you desire. When you have reached the width that you would like for your scarf, you can now cut off the two yarns that you're not going to use anymore. So whichever color that you have at the end, if that's the same one as me that you started with, and that's the color that you want to use for the border that we're that we are going to do around this scarf. You don't have to use this color. You can also just cut up all three of the yarns and use a different color. After your last stitch, you are going to chain one and you are going to work around the short side with single crochet stitches. Now, since all of our stitches were double crochets, so all the rows have double crochet stitches, we are going to count two single crochets for every row. 
that means into this space that you see we will do two single crochets then here two single crochets then you go on to the next row two single crochets two single crochets and so on so start with this one with your single crochet one and two then over here one and two and now this is where we work in these loose yarns just work over them like so just continue doing that until you get to this corner and I will show you what to do here here I am now I finished this side and do not worry about these loose ends we can cut them off or you know this longer one we can thread it in now I did those two single crochets into this last space I'm going to do a third one so for that corner and now you want to chain two because we will work with half double crochets on this side on this long side so I skip this space and I work into this first stitch a half double crochet so you yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three once again into the next stitch a half double crochet and then into the next one and the next one now when you get to these spaces like these ones so whenever you have this type of space I work two half double crochets into this space then one right here where that single crochet was and then two over here again so one and two now here into this single crochet one and then two again in this space one and two now comes this part where you had the three double crochet stitches if you work into this space right here it will look very pulled so I just pick either this space or this space in between the stitches and work my half double crochet in there next you're going to have the space in between the three double crochet stitches so I work three half double crochets into this space now here's those three double crochets again and you want to find so not in here because it will look very pulled but into the space between these three stitches like that and now I continue with one two three and four half double crochets here and you repeat the same thing over here so that you have an even look I am now done with this side after that last half double crochet stitch you're going to chain two and then turn turn it again to the short side and you know how this one goes where you do two single crochets into each of the spaces All right so you start here and do a single crochet then another one so that's two and then you move over here and do two more and then go to the next color and continue while working over those loose ends okay i will meet you on this corner once again 
now that I am here on this end, I did those I did those last two single crochets. I'm going to do one more. And now I'm going to chain two again. And start with a half double crochet into this stitch. So I'm going to do, you know, one, two, three, four, just like the stitches are here, then two into this space, one in here, two again here, and then for these, it's going to be different than on the other side because you're simply going to follow the stitches. So you're going into each stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet and then you will get to this part over here again, and you will do two, two half double crochets in there, one in there, and then two again here. And you repeat, so all the way to the end. So you've gone around all your scarf, and now we want to join the two ends of the scarf to close it off. This is what you'll do. You reach your last stitch, you're going to chain one. Now, now grab the other end and please make sure that your scarf is not twisted or that your yarn is in between or anything like that. So we have to align these two as best as we can to join the sides. On this side, you're going to go into that first stitch that you have. Okay, there we go. There's that first stitch. And then on the other side, you do the same. You go into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you go into the next stitch, on the one closest to you, on the side closest to you. And then on the opposite side, you go through that stitch, yarn over and make your single crochet. So we will join these two sides with single crochet stitches. I will see you when you are done joining these sides. When you have reached the other side, just cut off the yarn Pull this yarn through that loop that is on your hook and tighten that. Take your yarn needle, pull it through that needle. And now we're going to thread in the ends and you can thread in any ends like this where you just go into the stitches back and forth. And then just cut off that last little piece like so. Now, when you turn it inside out, it will look like this. Well, and that is it. You are done with your project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like, please subscribe. That would be amazing. Also, follow me on Instagram at HumbleHuss. Tag me with your work. I would love to see what you made. And I will see you next time. This is my channel, HumbleHuss. Bye.